So left or right? It doesn't matter. So when I speak, uh, so I still start. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for this opportunity. My name is Cheryl. And I'm going to share you something that I've been sharing to children a few, a few times. And it's a very easy concept. I came on it just thinking about my life. I simply was just thinking, why am I doing what I'm doing? Why am I speaking on a certain moment? Why am I not speaking? And many times it was because of fear. I feared to be different. I feared to be strange. And I thought, wait, I don't want to continue my life like this. I don't want to be controlled by what other things think that is important. And I had the idea of picturing something as a tree. And I thought, you know what? In my life, I have a visible part and an invisible part. The visible part is the part that is seen by everybody. It's the part with my accomplishments, the part which I can boast on or be proud of, the part of where I can be insecure. But there is also an invisible part. And that's why I painted that painting, showing those two parts. And as you see here, it's the upper part where I think is the accomplishment, the, the goals and the desires that we have and the things that we want to reach for and show off with. And then the, up, the part below the ground that we sometimes neglect or we just think it's not so important. The part, the part of input, nourishment, reflecting, motivation. And I found out I want to put more effort on that part. And I want to motivate you today to think about this. Because we're living in a world where actually we're so output focused. So many times we're so focused on what, what you can accomplish and how good you are doing connecting to others and how good you are compared to others. And I want to share with you this and looking at another way to success. What is success? We, many times on Step Excel, we talk about what it is. It's about accomplishment. And, but I want to take a step back. What are you thinking? What is behind that? What is the reason why you're doing what you're doing? Are you being inspired and going from that? Or just trying to accomplish and shine and try to be better than the rest around you? I think it's worth nothing worth like that. Because you know what? What comes from the output focus? There comes three things insecurity, pride, and jealousy. This society is full of it. Look at this tree. It's a happy tree. It's just happy, it just got a new job. Look at me. Look at me, I'm, I'm speaking on TEDx Dell. Look at me. And then something happens. Oh no, there's a ball in my tree. Oh no, this doesn't go right. Oh no, they're not looking fun, uh, fun at me. And oh, they're making fun of me. The focus on the outward always brings insecurity. Do you recognize this? Another one. The focus on the outward also brings pride. Look at this one. Look at you. You don't even have the power that I have. You, don't, you cannot accomplish what I can accomplish in four years. I did my bachelor in three years. I did this. I, did, I, I have so much to show off with. The output focus, the obsession with the output brings pride. Okay, another one. Jealousy. Look at the sad guy over there. I don't have the flowers that you have. I don't have, I cannot accomplish what you can accomplish. And this becomes jealousy. Oh, I want that. I want what you do. I, I want to become as you. It's worthless. It's totally worthless. I decided that this is a worthless way of spending my time. Because every single person in here has ability and it has strengths. And once we, we just focus on what, what we love to do and where we get inspired, we just use those abilities to become what we need to become. And you know, each one of you will become something and someone different then. No need to compare. So, back to the tree. A tree has this part which is invisible. What I do think where we should be focused on, instead of looking around at all this, and, Comparing what we have or accomplish, we should look at our roots. Think of what inspires me. Take time to reflect. Take time to ask the questions that matter. Take time to really rethink what you're doing. And many times we are not doing that. And I want to inspire you today to take that time. 
maybe weekly or even if you can implement it sometimes more in your day just to rethink what you're doing because I believe if we do that we will be able to be a tree without flowers without the accomplishment without the success that we call success but we have happiness which is just defined just by by being you it is just rooted below it's not visible it doesn't need to be so seen by everyone I don't care I don't care if you like me I don't care I'm happy as I am and you know I believe this brings a success that is a steady state of self on mind. And I believe this is what real sex success is about. And the invisible side then becomes bigger <coughs> as the visible one. As the tree has the invisible upper part bigger as the upper part. So we have to live, I believe. How do you do this? I just told you, but I will tell you again. Take a break. Stop yourself. <coughs> Take that walk on the beach. Go on the go into the forest. Talk with yourself sometimes, I do that. And just think what you're doing. What am I doing, what I really love to do? Am I being inspired and going from there? Ask the right questions. That's the second one. Because dear people, this world needs you. This world doesn't need another copy of what's already here. But then this world needs you and the authentic version of you. Thank you. Just in time. And uh, now we'll hear from the judges. <coughs> I would like to just make a remark. I think it's really good that you did it within six minutes. And also that you uh, dare to share your insecurities, which I think many people have, but normally we don't talk about. So thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Another remark from the judges? Okay, maybe then some questions from the audience. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, green trees. Trees are coming into leaves like something old most being said. Their recent buds relax and spread. Their greenness is some kind of grief. Uh, was a poet by uh, Philip Larkin. Uh, and there are so many poems about uh, the beautiful greenness of these trees that you um, set in fire with your, with your passion. And I, I understand. But uh, could you perhaps? Tell me what, what's so poetic about dirt and roots. Mm -hmm. What's so poetic? Well, just taking it back, what I came to this idea just by thinking of when I, I see myself having this visible side where I can be proud of, this visible side in my life, and I have this part where I just maybe alone and rethinking what I'm doing. And I, I compare that as a concept with a tree. Not thinking of the dirt, but just the concept, the function of the tree, its roots and the function of the roots. And um, I see that a tree, it has, even when it starts to grow, it first grows its roots. And that for me is just stunning because many times we're so focused on just the outward and just showing, showing off. We want to, we want to jump and show what we've got, but we forget that before you grow, you need something to grow from. So the roots, they're the things that keep everything stable. They're things that actually are there for the long term. A tree without roots is a short term tree. So that's why I love the roots too. <laughs> so. Okay, maybe I have some questions from the audience.